Soaring over the old Dnipro, from dawn to dusk, at night under the cleary, starry sky, in front of a bonfire that warms our hands, our thoughts gliding through the mist of ages. To the glorious past, to those old days when ancestors, forgotten and remembered, stood for the first time between the high mountains, cultivating the earth as a wide, the hope of their hearts for the future generations. They sweated in their daily work. They plowed in the land. They built their houses, erected towns and palisades. Amid the troubles of life, they found and they planted gardens and built homes. Thank you for taking this thorny path. You stick with dignity in labor and in service. None of us will ever forget what you created and what you have built. Thank you, Christian. Having a sister is remarkable. Truly as if you have a built-in bestie for life. Throughout the years, Gretchen really has been my best friend and my confidant, but I will say it wasn't exactly love at first sight. Apparently, two weeks after she was born, I told my mom I was ready for baby Gretchen to go back to the hospital. <laughs> Two-year-old me did not want to share my parents' attention with another blue-eyed girl. However, once Gretchen was old enough to play with Barbies, I guess I decided she was cool, and the rest is history. Being Gretchen's big sister, you might think that I was the one that she always looked up to and emulated and wanted to be like during our youth, but it was actually the opposite. She's always found her own way, driven by her passions and likely a pinch of stubbornness. I've always been in awe of what she has and continues to accomplish in many ways. You could say I was the one looking up to her and being inspired. Love you. I love you. It's funny because today I'm the best man, and uh, I had to take stock and think about this for a second. But hunting, truthfully, by all means, and there's hard pressed to find somebody amongst us that would say otherwise. But he's the best man, of all of us. While Gretchen was really busy flying all over and saving the world and doing it really well, I always knew she was hoping to find her person. You know, Gretchen, she never feared challenges, challenges that I would have never tried. But you know, she was in Sri Lanka, and she was in Tunisia, and she'd go to Istanbul. And <clears throat> and she traveled the world, places that most of us that would dream or think about going and probably be too scared to go. And uh, she'd gotten a job offer to go to Indonesia and uh, it was a big job. And then she met Anton. And Indonesia got kicked to the curb. A kick to the curb. Oh my gosh. She's just incredible. Oh my god. Hi my love. Hey, you look beautiful. Thank oh. you. Holy smoke. How are you? Much better now. Much better? Yeah. You know, Anton has been a great uh, influence on her. Uh, very calming. 
actually fairly calming on my entire family. I feel like, I feel strongly that I'm now two for two with Southern Loss. Feels gorgeous. Just everything perfect. Unreal. <laughs> we are gathered here to bless the marriage of Antin and Gretchen. You met each other somewhere here. You 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 connected. All these things are in our life are not just some coincidence. There's a plan. God has a special plan for you and your family. Bring them together in oneness of mind. Crown them with love. Unite them into one flesh and grant them joy in their children. For yours is the might, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I Antin. Take your Gretchen from my wife. Take you, Gretchen, for my wife. And I promise you my love, fidelity, and honor in marriage. I will never leave you until death. So help me God. I, Gretchen, take you on team for my husband. And I promise you my love, fidelity, and honor in marriage. I will never leave you until death. So help me God. Pronounce your husband and wife. Gretchen spent many years traveling to and living abroad in the Middle East. I often could not even imagine what she did out there in those four off countries. Enter global pandemic. Really, it does seem that perhaps a global pandemic that thwarted my sister's globetrotting ways is exactly what was needed for her to finally meet her guy. Gretchen and Anton's love story, to me, is just one of the best you'll ever hear. First dates over the phone, more serious dates via socially distant walks around Chicago, I don't think any of us would have guessed that this seemingly old-fashioned courtship would be the way to her heart, but it certainly was. I'll never forget the first time that she told me about Anton and the light that I saw in her eyes. Anton, honestly, I couldn't imagine a more perfect match for my sister. She's not only happier than I've ever seen her, but perhaps more importantly, she's content. For a chronic jet setter, some might even say escape artist, to see my sister relaxed and eager to talk about settling down here in Chicago, it could only be because she is truly feeling content in this beautiful life that the two of you have created together. It is also so fun having you around, Anton. You fit in seamlessly with our family, and your humor and intelligence totally bring our gatherings up a notch. <laughs> in spite of knowing how capable and independent my sister is, I'm still fiercely protective of her. So, Anton, I'm beyond thrilled that she found you an incredibly thoughtful and kind man that allows her to shine bright. You know, why, why, are, why are weddings, why are we here? Why are weddings important? You know, in, this, in today's day and age, weddings may be more important than they've ever been. Because weddings represent hope. They represent the future. The 
world we live in today, it's really needed. It's really needed that we stay hopeful, that we stay positive in the future. And every time somebody gets married and they think about the next step and they think about building a family, this is a very positive thing. We'll raise a toast to the new couple, the new married couple, Gretchen and Anton. May God be with you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortune and rich in blessing. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. Here's to you. Love you.